Hey everyone, hope you all are doing great and had a good week so far. Today I'll be covering the HBRA3 Assault Rifle for both multiplayer and battle royale and show multiple builds with various attachment options to suit your needs. The HBR is a really good and easy to use rifle with a competitive time to kill. It can 4 shot kill in close range, thus can be used as an anti-SMG rifle. The recoil is also primarily vertical thus we can laser people in longer range gunfights and also take people off of head glitch without too much problem. The base damage of the HBR is 26 which gives us a 4 shot kill up to 10 meters with a really good time to kill of 258 milliseconds. After 10 meters, it 5 shot kills which makes the time to kill less than average assault rifle time to kill at 344 milliseconds. So you can see the main strength of HBR is not longer range fights, rather the close range gunfights. And while we can laser with the HBR at longer ranges, we can still get outgunned by something like LK-24 or the Man-O-War, why take longer range gunfights with caution? The close range time to kill is really good and only slightly slower than Type 25 with stopping power reload time to kill. Keeping this in mind, I have a couple gunsmith builds with and without the red dot as the iron sights are unusable for some why all have loadouts with the red dot as well. Enough said, this is the first loadout I have where I tried to increase the 4 shot kill while still having good ADS speed for close range. I started by applying the monolithic suppressor which increases the damage range and also suppresses the fire, for reducing the mobility. For increasing the mobility I apply the tactical laser and the no stock which boost the mobility, but we get increased flinch and more vertical recoil. Now for controlling the recoil, you might want to apply a foregrip, however we want to extend the damage range as well, so I apply the ranger barrel which increases the range and also helps with the vertical recoil control. I don't recommend the marksman barrel since it helps with the lateral recoil which the gun doesn't have much of, and reduces the mobility further, which isn't needed. With these attachments we have decently fast ADS for close range and the 4 shot range is extended till 15 meters. For the final attachment you can use a red dot if needed, or stippled grip tape for getting more ADS speed, or even the granulated grip tape for making our shots more accurate. Otherwise you can use extended mag but I wouldn't recommend them because they reduce the, the ADS speed and the HBR already has slow ADS speed. Foregrips are usable but I don't recommend them since the recoil is primarily vertical and very easy to control. Just have to pull down when the gun starts shooting. For perks, you can use the long shot perk which will make the 4 shot kill extend to 16 meters. I don't think it's worth it, and I personally use the sleight of hand for getting faster reloads since I'm not using any magazine attachments, and that is the general HBR build you can see me using in the video. 
It has good ADS speed for close range engagements, good recoil for taking fights at range, but good time to kill up to 15 meters. The second build I have is based around mobility. Since the ADS speed is slow, we basically stack ADS speed. Start with no stock and tactical laser, and then for stacking further ADS speed, apply the stippled grip tape. Now if you want, apply the red dot otherwise the light barrel for further ADS speed. For the final attachment, since we already have fast ADS speed, we can use the 44 round mag for the extra ammo, or the sleight of hand perk for faster reloads. This build will foreshot up to 10 meters. Personally I'll remove the barrel for the monolithic suppressor. Then either the red dot can be used or the sleight of hand or the 44 mag if needed. For an alternate build, these attachments can be used. The four-shot range becomes 12 meters and we get suppressed fire with recoil control, extra bullets in the mag, and enhanced mobility. Out of the builds I have shown, I personally like the first build since with the 16 meters four-shot range, we can play close to mid-range confidently. Otherwise if you're playing around the SMG range, then you can give the second or the third loadout a try. That covers the HBR for multiplayer. If you've liked the video so far, definitely leave a like, and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified when I upload next. Help the video gain popularity by sharing it around, and let's move on to HBR for the Battle Royale. Coming towards Battle Royale, you'll hardly take fights in the 10 meter 4 shot range, and if you do, you'll easily get overpowered by the shotgun users. Thus most engagements will be mid to long. So we start by putting the red dot as most people prefer optical attachment, and then apply the steady stock mainly for the flinch stability, but it also helps control recoil. Then we attach the 44 round mag for getting more bullets, as extra bullets always help. Finally the granulated grip tape for making our shots more accurate. For the last attachment, you can use the ranger barrel, or use a foregrip attachment like the strike foregrip or the operator foregrip if needed. Or the monolithic suppressor for the suppressed fire, otherwise the tactical laser for improving mobility and accuracy. I personally prefer my build without the red dot and with the monolithic suppressor. This will complete the setup for Battle Royale HBR. HBR is a really good rifle for close range, and I think it's one of the best guns to be using with the suppressor. The time to kill in close range is really fast and only slightly slower than the Type 25 with stopping power reload. But with the HBR we also get better recoil compared to Type 25, thus you can take your pick between these guns. Do check out my Type 25 video if you're interested, and that will conclude today's video. Hope you liked it, and if you did, definitely leave a like, and subscribe for more gunsmith loadouts and best class setups. Share this video around to support the channel, and I'll see you on my next video. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a great weekend. Take care guys, and bye. Okay.